My name's Nick. I write a food blog called Breakfast with Nick. Columbus is an amazing breakfast city. You know, we've actually been called a breakfast mecca. You could go out pretty much like every day of the week for an entire year and you'd be able to find some place new or some dish that, that is worth trying. So this is Catalina's. What it's known for is taking a lot of traditional things and adding sort of a Latin twist. I do four-star food in a very non-pretentious atmosphere. In fact, it's the furthest thing from pretentious. It's as laid back as you can get. My favorite is their pancake balls. They always stuff them with fun things. They put Nutella in those. Kind of a fun little handheld breakfast. Local sourcing is so important to me because it's better for everything. It's better for the community, it's better for the environment, and it's better for the animals. I make sure my food is all house-made with the finest ingredients, and I just feel so strongly about that. There's a lot of things that make Columbus a great breakfast city. One of the big things, is, I think, is the diversity of our offerings. Pistachio Vera is a little uh, like French patisserie in German village. Amazing baked goods. Everything is wonderfully picturesque there. So bring your camera because you want to snap a picture of everything you see there. My name is Spencer Boudros. I own Pistachia Vera with my sister Ann Fletcher. We have really evolved over the years into a really wide selection of classic breakfast pastries and a savory brunch menu. We serve everything from tarts and torts to our most signature item, which is our Parisian style macarons. I think that we are strict with our technique, but we are very open and eclectic with the flavors and the ingredients that we use. We do all of our um, dough production from scratch. I'd say that the people are definitely what makes this place special. We have kitchen staff of about 14, and all just really, really dedicated, thoughtful, lovely people. Columbus in general is a very supportive city of small businesses, so I, I think it's that combination of the restaurants willing to experiment and have some fun with it, but also customers that are eager for new stuff but are, are willing to put their support behind it. That's what makes it such a great scene.